is up y'all we are back with another video that's so cringe when i say that today me and the wife and the doggos rena and priscilla are going to what is it called <laughs> getaway we're going to getaway uh brazos valley brazos valley thingy basically what it is is like the cabin in the woods i think that's a scary movie that's like a getaway little spot that you go and you just kind of like enjoy the outdoors and like the peacefulness and everything like that but we did bring some amazing food um julie prepared a whole bunch of great stuff yeah let's see how it goes and then we're gonna do like a little haul and show y'all everything we brought we should be there in what uh, 40 minutes 40 minutes i'm bad with math sorry do you have anything to say babe it's our baby's first trip so i think she'll enjoy it for those of you that don't know, and if you're new here, Julie is prego. She is um, how many weeks? Seven months. Seven months. So the baby is due in February, and we're ready. The baby is still his first trip, and the dog's first trip, right? Yeah. Their first trip. They uh, they said they wanted to go on a little vacation, a little family vacation time. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Okay, so we ended up stopping at. Um, this place called Field Store Barbecue. Field Store Barbecue. You can see it right here. The dogs. I got um, chopped beef sandwich. Julie got mac and cheese. She's gonna eat some fries. And I also got fried pickles. So we'll see how it tastes. Oh, uh, and the woman kept looking at my hat. Y'all see my hat? It says Lion of Judah, Jesus. Rena. If you want to them. purchase this hat the grass, like or shop the merch, Rena. the link will be down in the description. Stop it's one of my friends the from uh, the church I go to. He has amazing merch. And these guys are eating grass. check out the cabin it, do the honors by the way our dog has three legs so just a nice tip so here's the room we have a nice little desk right here uh, where you can sit and eat the kitchen stove sink all your appliances knife can opener scissors lighter soap and then here you have all your pans, cups, what is this? Oh, uh, this is like a coffee and stuff like that. You have your books, you have your Bluetooth radio where you can hook up. What's in here? You have a mirror, <laughs> you have a fan, AC, smoke detector. Um, oh, this is nice. You have an emergency phone here, and then you have a thermostat. Um, some lights, of course, all of the windows, that says exit right there, I guess you can exit there, a nice comfy bed, here is a cell phone lock box, uh, so you can put your cell phone in here, and it comes with crayons, what do you color, I guess, uh, look, a note, welcome to your getaway, we hope you enjoy your time, take care, Madison. Look, a s'mores kit. What is this? Can you open this? See what it looks like. Oh no, it's five dollars. Oh, that's five dollars. That's not even. Oh no, we're not opening that. Simply open, enjoy, and we'll add to your tab. Yeah, all right. <laughs> we're not doing that one. But they have some sticks over there. Uh, a guide. Gather. 
And, oh, wordplay. Ghost stories by the campfire. <laughs> That's kind of scary. Um, and then, oh, we have some outlets here. A nice uh, lamp. And then a lock for the door. And here we have the good old restroom. I know it seems small. There wouldn't be no restroom, but there is a restroom. Where's the light? Right here. This is the light. Turn past. Oh, there we go. Nice light. Let me turn this down. We got the toilet. <laughs> a nice little bear sticker. Um, and here we have the good old shower. Looks pretty cool. At least there's a shower. Comes with conditioner, body wash, and shampoo. Nice uh, ventilation in here. And a good view of the outside while you're taking a dump. You gotta love that. So, now, let's, what are we doing? What are we about to do? Oh, we need to unload, actually. Yes. And then what? And build a fire. And build a fire. We need to go find firewood. So Priscilla is pretty trained. Um, she's obedient. She doesn't really run away. So she can be off the leash. But Rena, she's a young one. She likes to be rebellious sometimes. So... As you can see, she just wants to run, but she loves, she, she's a, a lover, a big lover. So, we're going to unload. Someone wrote, wash me, on my truck. If I find out who it was. Alright, so we are ready to start the fire. Uh, we're going to make, what are we making tonight? Korean barbecue. Korean barbecue. Oh, we need to do a haul. Well, yeah. Um, you just put I just put everything up. I need to go find firewood. So Ugh, that's gonna take you forever. I know it's gonna take me years, but many of y'all don't know I'm a country boy at heart, so I'm used to all this. So this should be a piece of cake. All right, guys. So uh, to find the perfect firewood, it has to be dry and be wet. It has to have enough wood to thickness to provide a good amount of. Uh, or a long-lasting fire and preferably not old wood so when you, if you like step on it or whatever and it just kind of breaks you don't want that wood so right here you can see there's a lot of sticks this is good to start a fire but it's not something to keep a fire keep that in mind I kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about but I don't really it's like a big hole right there all right let's try to find some firewood before we get killed out here by a snake all right, I think, I think we uh, found something right here. See that right there? That's some good firewood right here. Perfect. It's rare you find this out in the wood, in the woods right here. Uh, this is from an amazing tree. So the tree usually drops these, uh, kind of like a fruit. So they'll drop these already packaged um, when the time is right, when the season is right. So let's see what Julie thinks. All right, so I got the firewood. Uh, Julie wasn't that surprised because she knows that we got it from HEB. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start this fire. So, and Rena's wrapped around the entire tree right here. The amazing breeze, how sweet the sound that I the red like me. So we're gonna start Korean barbecue. Our pan. Preheated the pan. Olive oil? Olive? Avocado. Avocado olive, oil. Olive oil burns fast. You're not supposed to cook with olive oil on the pan. Okay, so avocado oil burns slower than olive oil. Um, what kind of meat do we got? We got Korean short ribs. Julie made some Korean salad. Yeah. Korean salad. And that's it. And rice. And some rice. We got uh, some, what is it called? Microwavable, Microwavable rice. rice from uh, H-E-B. So that way, you know, we can get everything going in a jippy. Is it jippy or jiffy? But yeah, so we're going to let that get nice and hot. Here are uh, 
easy bake oven <laughs> uh, rice. They don't have a microwave here, unfortunately. So uh, I think we have to we have to do it on the stove. We forgot our clampers. Thankfully, they had them here. So you know, they have a lot of stuff here. You really don't have to bring much other than your food. Alright guys, so here is the finished product. I went ahead and cut these while they were cooking. And here's the Korean salad Jui made, the rice. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and dive in. And oh, also, my tripod broke randomly. I don't know how. I'm gonna have to hold it from now on. So uh, let's eat, sit by the fire. And then the next day. guys so it's 42 42 degrees outside right now it's pretty cold in the cabin was 55 when we woke up so it was pretty cold I put the heater on this morning but like when you're sleeping it doesn't really feel like there's a lot of like circulation of air when we went to sleep it was already like 64 in there it didn't really feel like it but I don't know I guess under the covers it it was hotter uh, but today it got really cold. Okay, y'all, so I'm back in the cabin. Hopefully, uh, the audio is good. I just hooked up my mic. I think the audio may have been bad, but if it was, I'm sorry. It should be better now. As you can see, we did put on the heater. What does 70% humidity mean? I don't know what that means. But it gets pretty hot in here easily. Uh, I mean, it's not really big. But anyway, today we're going to, uh, we're going to go hike and not hike but like walk a trail you don't hike in texas we're gonna go walk the trail going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship last night we found a bug in the bed um oh also by the way we are now walking to the trail but we found a bug in the bed i'll put it right here Boop. yeah but i mean it was a nice bug it was a nice dead bug also, by the way, this is that getaway in Houston, Texas. Navasota. Well, near Houston. It's Navasota, Texas, but near Houston. Slow down. We got to slow down walking. We're walking too fast. So originally, I thought nobody was going to be here. But boy, was I wrong. There are literally every cabin has somebody here. Um, and it is, what is it? Tuesday? Yes. It's Tuesday. We came on, they came on Monday. Yeah, they came on Monday, like us. And, yeah, I guess people, people just, uh, hanging out. Also, I came out, uh, side, and the bones from the meat we ate yesterday was on the steps. And, I'm sorry about my lisp. I have a lisp. <laughs> We're on the steps, and, uh, the trash can was open and for some reason I thought like I don't know I don't know why I thought Julie did it Julie is not messy like that but um, then I asked her about it and she was like no so I think some raccoon friends came and gave us a visit last night uh, unexpectedly so that's always cool
finally got our fire started. It did not take me two hours to put this fire together. Yeah, it did. It took me a long time. But we finally, we finally got it. So we're gonna make bacon and potatoes on the fire. Julie's gonna make eggs inside. My hands are pretty dirty. Lifestyle of uh, the country. Got some potatoes. The only thing about this is like, we're rarely cooking inside. Julie's only cooking, uh, she's only cooked the rice, she's cooking the eggs inside. So we're always dealing with the fire. So we always smell like fire smoke. And you have to take a shower if you wanna lay down because you get fire smoke everywhere. Tomorrow we go home. So we gotta make the most of it. Breakfast on a fire. And then later we're making steaks. So that'll be good. Silla, what do you think about this? Okay, yep. And then that one over there, living her best life. All right guys, uh, so we go, went ahead and got the bacon done. We're putting some of the papas on there. Ah, golly, <laughs> that mug bouncing everywhere. That, uh, that grease don't play. You're cooking it in the bacon grease. Yeah, we're cooking the, uh, the potatoes and the bacon grease. Grease does not discriminate. They don't care if you're white, Mexican, or black. It'll pop you. So here is the good old potatoes and papas right there. Looking delicious. We got the bacon. Um, we got the tortillas right here being prepped, warmed up. We got Rena waiting for me to drop some bacon for her. Let's go check out inside. We got Julie making the eggs. You know guys, this is a pretty cool experience. Whether you're you're with a partner or oh, you're by yourself or you're with a friend, uh, it's a good getaway to really, you know, take time away from everything else and just spend time with whoever it is you come with. Somebody's calling me real quick. My mom. What's up, mom? Are the papas ready? All right, so we're eating some uh, tacos this morning. We got some salsa, guac, and these big old tortillas. When you got no There ain't nothing wrong. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for this healthy fellowship. Bless it. Thank you for nourishment to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. I've seen the mountains high. I've sailed the ocean blue. When you got nothing on. All right, guys, so uh, we've been out here the whole time, and time is going by so slow. You don't realize how slow time goes by when you're not doing anything and you're just bored. I think when we ate breakfast, it was what? 10 30. We sat here until. We sat here about like 11 and then played card games, and then it's only what, 12? 12 40. 12 40. What do we do? And then we can't go lay down because we smell like smoke. What, what would y'all do if y'all were here? Leave it down in the comments. I told her we should have brought like a BB gun so we could have like lined up bottles and then uh, just shot them. Okay, we decided to uh, just go ahead and fix the fire for our steak tonight. That's a lot of just sticks on top of each other, but it'll work, hopefully. Yeah, we're probably just gonna go inside and watch like the iPad maybe, I don't know. They they wanna lay down, that's for sure. Oh, also we found out that there's like caterpillars, is that caterpillar here around here? But there's some black and white caterpillars that are around here. Long story short, they turn into the moths that we uh, that was in the bed. Um, they don't turn into butterflies. 
So, if you come out here, see a moth or a caterpillar, that's what it is. Also, another cool thing. So, me and Julie are going to put some food right here tonight and try to see if we can spot the raccoons from the window right there and record it because the raccoon or whatever it was came and literally took the bones out of this trash can placed them right th right there on the step and Julie's uh, theory is that they use it as a table and they sat here and ate there lined them up across hopefully we catch them here tonight but we'll see next time you see me we will be making steaks white table clones and red wine we've been planning this night it is now dinner time. We woke up from a great nap, and now uh, I already started the fire. So that kind of started pretty easily. Uh, it looks a little offset, but I'll fix it in a little bit. Uh, we're gonna make steak. We have the potatoes right here. We have the broccoli. Um, we have some mushrooms, uh, jalapeno, and the mac and cheese that we didn't finish from the restaurant, so that we get at before we came here so uh yeah the kids are getting a little drink going hopefully we can get this finished before nighttime comes and then we're going to catch our little friend here not not my wife not julie the raccoon so let's get this cooking started did i, did I hear you right you tell me, go pay the waiter and let us sleep. Now, honey, I know by that look in your eyes and your hand drawing hearts on mine that our night out of the house ain't gonna last too long. When all you can think about. fire we've been hearing a lot of different creatures out here I'm not sure what kind of oh, creatures they are sin. they burn yeah. yeah I think that's the end of the vlog um, what do you think about the experience good. feel like you got better at fire. it was it was pretty good if you enjoy nature come out here if you just want to hang out with each other come out here uh, just get away but yeah I hope y'all enjoyed love y'all and we'll see you next video. Alright guys, so as you can see, we left the food out there, but unfortunately we didn't stay up late enough to see the raccoons come. So enjoy this cartoon raccoon. But in the morning, we did see that they eventually came and ate all the food. Um, so yeah, see y'all next vlog. It's something about the girl that just makes my head wanna twirl. Oh, you got me